And in this episode for Keeping It Genius Wednesday, I am collaborating with my very good friend who I feel is an amazing woman and such an inspiration to me as well. So what she has told me about believing in myself will hopefully really help you and your genius as well. And so I wanted to be able to share this with you, um, my words and her words. What are you made of? You're made of boldness to do things that people won't normally do. Confidence to say things that people won't say. You have the drive and determination to put in those 10,000 plus hours to cultivate your gift. And you're so good that technology can't touch you. And when people try to make you feel inferior, it's funny because regardless of how many things you may have in common, you know that you're unique, that you have something to bring to the table. You have something to offer. This is what you're made of. Prove it. It's Kasairi. I love you. Believe is to hold something as true. It's crazy because whatever you believe in is your reality, if you think about it. So when I was younger, when I was in third grade, I know that you probably heard this in the last video, but I had trouble with my multiplication facts and I would keep trying and trying and I just could not pass the nines times tables. And one of the students who was a math extraordinaire he would pass his multiplication tables every single time with ease and he would he was already on his 12s at that time and he would make fun of me and he would call me stupid because i just couldn't pass my nines and i remember thinking about it and every time i would not pass i would think you know what i i am stupid i am stupid in math and i'm never gonna get it right and you know what that was my reality until I started to believe in myself and I kept trying and I passed and <clears throat> throughout all of elementary school I fed into the lies of what other people would tell me or any judgment other people made I fed into those lies and one of them being the one where the kid called me stupid in math so I believed it and once I hit junior high seventh grade I was in pre-algebra and I had the best teacher who honestly shifted my mindset into believing in myself because the way he taught pre-algebra, I mean, he was funny, charismatic, he just made math fun. And I remember taking our first test and when, I, when we all got our papers back, he said, okay, there was only one person in this class who aced the whole test. And I remember thinking, oh, it's probably one of the kids that I went to elementary with who always get A's on their math tests. Like, and then he says, Rebecca Corretto. And I was like, what? Like, are you sure? Like, are you, are you sure you graded that test right? Um, and then I just remember everybody looking at me and I just felt like really red because I, I wasn't used to it. Like I wasn't used to being the A student in math. And then that made me realize, no, Rebecca, you're not stupid. You're not stupid in anything. You are smart, just like anybody else is smart in everything. The only thing is, is it was the way you were being taught. It was the way, you know, you were understanding the concept being taught, but everybody is capable of grasping a concept. It just is dependent upon the way you're being taught. And that's why I believe no child is stupid or unintelligent or any of that. It's just there's a different way they need to learn the concept or the material and they need to believe that they can do it. And it might take more practice, but they'll get it. And so whenever I get the opportunity to work with a new family or a new genius, and I'm talking to the genius, and he or she is telling me, you know, I'm, I'm not smart in math. I'm not smart in reading. I'm not smart in writing. It's just not my subject. Like, they've already lost the belief in themselves. And I let them know, no, you are smart. You are intelligent. You just don't understand this material. So I need you to believe in yourself. Take that out of your mind and believe that you are capable of it. It's just the way you're being taught, the learning style. And 
like me and my teammates, like we're tough on on the kids just because we've been in their situation. If you think about it, there is one teacher who is trying their very best to teach 20, sometimes 27 kids in one classroom who all have different learning styles. And it's very hard to identify every single child in the classroom's learning style and be able to cater to each one and go through all the material and the concept if it's only one person to that many kids. And so that's why I felt the need to as Intelligy to be able to collaborate and work with the parent and the teacher so that we were all involved and we all have belief in the child who then in turn will have belief in themselves, which comes full circle. So I just want you to know that you are so intelligent, you are smart, you are a genius and all you need to do is believe in yourself, believe in your goals and never let anybody tell you you can't do something because you are more than capable of doing everything. Have a great day.